don't have to be the same as in degrees? They have to be the same in degrees and the type of angle. See, so like 120, 120. It was 60, 60. 60. Oh, okay. That really explains it. That really clarifies it. Uh -huh. I loved the lesson plan. I really was looking forward to coming to a junior high. I spent most of my years teaching at the junior high level. And um, I'm excited to see the words used in a math class. Do you spend a lot of time on vocabulary, or how does it usually go? Usually five or 10 minutes, kind of as the words come up throughout the curriculum. Five to 10 minutes are great. Just bringing up a word, doing something simple with it, does provide access to long-term memory. Mm -hmm. And you know that's what we are after. We've done a lot of examples with explain, so the kids are really starting to understand what I'm expecting from them when it says to explain and to make it clear. Right, and you said that your math curriculum uses clarify as opposed to explain. And um, since clarify is a synonym mm -hmm. for explain, it might be good to do a synonym wheel or you know maybe do the vocabulary paint chips mm -hmm. um, with explain and put lots of different uh, synonyms but then emphasize when you're taking some of your assessments you're going to see the word explain and I want you to understand that they mean the same thing. Absolutely. You know, I think so many of these words are intertwined.